Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly, and today we're gonna tell you about an upgrade you need to do regardless of what plane you have. So when it came around to doing this upgrade, I talked to my mechanic friend about it, and he said, hey, this is a no-brainer, and here it is. Right there, LED lights. That's right. It is really a no-brainer. If you've got an older plane, you need to upgrade to LED lights, and let me tell you why. So when I did my commercial rating, there were about maybe 10, 15 hours, maybe a little bit more than that at night, and what I noticed was that when I had all the lights on, plus charging my iPad and charging the phone, and then my cabin lights on, and they're all old 12-volt lights, I started noticing a negative draw on my power. And then sure enough, pop, and the circuit breaker came out on the alternator. Um, it's night, I'm not really, I don't really have that many hours at night. Maybe I have 25, 30 hours at night, which is not a whole lot. So I don't have a whole a lot of experience with that. And as I was kind of, you know, troubleshooting and figuring things out, the instructor was right there. So I was, you know, I was cool there, but it just dawned on me that these old lights are just sucking the life out of my battery. So after my first couple of night flights, it really kind of dawned on me that I have no idea how much draw that these old lights were putting, were pulling on my battery. And all I saw was that negative side of the alternator um, indicator going boom, 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 boom. So it wasn't charging anything. So I got on Amazon like anyone would do, and I did get myself one of these little cigarette lighter um, voltage indicators, which at least it would tell me how much voltage I have coming into the cigarette lighter, whether it would be positive or whether it would be negative. So I put this thing in here, and sure enough, the next night flight I did, I was just, these lights, these old lights were just sucking the life out of the battery. And this thing was going down to like, it should read about 12, six when the engine's on and this thing was like reading 10 4 10 2 i mean this was this was not giving me good news and figure there's some amount of error between the old cigarette lighter and the old wires but still it's not good news so i went to my mechanic friend and i said hey what do you think and he said this is a no-brainer so i went ahead and pulled the trigger and did it so here's what the landing lights cost i got the led landing and taxi light right here. I got the nav light and I got the other one on the other side. I got an LED tail light, a strobe and a beacon. So the lights in total were about $1,100 to purchase. And the good news, it was only about $300 to have them installed. I had Posada Aviation do it in Zephyr Hills, Florida. I highly recommend them. They are fantastic. And he had them done in about a day actually. And the only kind of issue we had was getting these landing lights focused because once they were installed, they needed to be aimed and focused. And actually one of the guys had to come out at night and we had to get them aimed and focused. But the best part about it is that the next time when I went up in the air, the draw from the batteries was practically zero. And that solved a big safety issue for me. But I'm telling you, it was worth it because the next time when I went flying at night, and I had my little trusty $14, $14 engine monitor, this thing was humming along at 12.6 volts. So the worry of these things sucking the battery down or popping the alternator out like what happened before was gone. And it's just a wise upgrade to do. And most importantly, it's for safety because these lights aren't gonna burn out. They aren't gonna draw a huge amount of power from your battery. And they're just a safer, wise decision. So LED lights, no matter what plane you have, is a necessary upgrade. So I hope you learned something. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, or hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or hit those buttons. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps. And if you're over 50, get up there and get in the air.